Um, in real life, it isn't quite as bad as the lighting in my studio here. And by studio, I mean the living room <laughs> where I'm filming. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Wago Warrior, aka Julie, and welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, welcome. Wago stands for when you get old. I am 54 years old, love and enjoy makeup, skincare, doing product reviews, beauty hauls, and unboxing videos. If you stop by because you've been curious about the Real Her Power Wear Probiotic Foundation in the shade I Am Extraordinary, then you're in the right place, and keep on watching. Okay, Real Her is, to me, one of those brands that where I only see it in beauty subscription boxes. Um, I don't see it in the drugstore. Um, honestly, I don't go into Ulta's or, or uh, Sephora's. I shop those online. Um, I just, it's not a brand I'm really aware of other than I will, will receive products in beauty subscription boxes. Oh, I did one time see a product at Costco, of all places. Um, so I was excited to, I, I love getting foundations in general, and I received this product in the June Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. I haven't tried it yet, I've swatched it, but I uh, am excited to throw it on my face and see if I'm gonna enjoy it or not. Um, it does retail for $36, which for me is on the pricier end. Um, but I'm going to give a full-blown first impression, see how it does on my, uh, this shade works out on my uh, fair, pale, extra dry, mature skin. And um, yeah, so let me come back with some swatches so you can get an idea of what the shade I Am Extraordinary looks like all right so starting off here is today's star which is the real her power wear probiotic foundation in the shade i am extraordinary next over we have from milani the conceal and perfect two-in-one foundation in the shade 01a creamy nude third position we have makeup revolution conceal and hydrate in the shade f3 and last and closest match is the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover in the shade 112 Natural Ivory. Alrighty, try on time. I already have my moisturizers, primer, even concealer on already, mascara, and I do have a lip plumper on. Other than that, no other makeup. So I am going to try a brush on one side and a sponge on the other and uh, let you know my final thoughts once this bad boy is on my face. So I Am Extraordinary is the lightest shade. It is also known as Ivory and they have 20 shades total. It is in a squeezy tube but comes with a pump. It's thick-ish, not super runny. I will also be testing out two new products I recently received in a Morphe haul. I have a complexion brush here, which I will use on this side of my face, and I got a free sponge, and this tripled in size. When I got this wet, squeeze out all the water, it tripled in size. And it is flat on both sides and is microfiber. All right, wish me luck. So what are the claims of this foundation? Their website says the features and benefits are probiotic and extract infused blue light technology, natural finish, medium to full coverage, vegan, paraben free, and gluten free. It also contains real technology, which is lactobacillus probiotic, which helps to maintain healthy and balanced skin, keeping you ready at all times. Lipogenine extract, which helps to keep your skin barrier strong, buoyant, and in tip-top shape. 
It also contains a blue light technology. We love our tech devices, but an overabundance of the blue light they emit can be harmful to our skin, causing premature aging. The PowerWear Probiotic Foundation features a unique blue light technology in the formula that keeps your skin safe. All right, what are my first impressions? It's not super tacky, but for those who like to powder, I'm thinking you might want to put a little bit of powder on. It's, yeah, I don't powder, so it's fine for me. I've had much tackier, wetter foundations. I bet if I sat here for 10 minutes, it would be fine. It does have a very subtle, soft, not obnoxious, kind of very subtle chemical scent, but not in a bad way. I've smelled way worse, way, 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 way worse. Yes, very subtle. Um, this sponge is nice-ish. It's more porous than other sponges. So, um, I don't know. I felt like on my nose it was placing and then immediately taking away product, which is why I added a little more product there. The brush, I thought, worked really well. Um, they both look nice or this foundation works well with both brush and a sponge. Although it is sitting on top of my skin ever so slightly on both sides, I'm gonna take my Shop Miss A sponge, which is a different type. It's a little um, finer, pores, squishier. I'm gonna press in both sides to see if that helps. That did help. Um, I would say this is medium coverage on the low end of medium. I am seeing redness, not a lot, but I can, in person, in my little mirror, I can see a little bit of redness, not that anyone would notice. I notice it. Um, it's good. The shade, I feel, is a little too light for me. Um, I'm typically not the lowest shade, and this was their lowest shade, Ivory. I would, if I purchased this again, I would definitely go up a shade. It's doable. I, I'll put on some complexion products, bronzer, blush, etc., and it should hopefully not be so pasty pale. Um, in real life, it isn't quite as bad as the lighting in my studio here. And by studio, I mean the living room <laughs> where I'm filming. I used the foundation the other day in a video, and when I smiled, it left a big line. Let's see if this one does the same. Nope. Mm. A little bit over here, but I think it was this side that was really bad. It's better than that other product. Um, they claim that it is medium to full coverage. Um, I don't know about that. Um, I guess I could put on a second coat. Um, it's been about 10 minutes. It has, um, I don't want to say dried down, but it's not wet or tacky anymore. I think if you were just to wait, you wouldn't need to powder. But if you have oily skin, you probably are going to do that anyways. I have dry skin, so... It's nice in that sense. It is kind of, I do notice some skin texture and I don't have skin texture. Um, I think it's just not absorbing into my skin as nicely as other foundations do. Those are my thoughts. <laughs> Let me know down below, have you used this foundation before? What do you think about Real Her in general? Do you enjoy the products? Do you purchase them? Or are you like me where you get them in beauty subscription boxes? Um, I own it. I'll use it. I'll probably mix it with a different foundation that's a little too dark. This one's a little too light. 
I love mixing my foundations. Um, there you go. I'm going to end this video early. Please uh, leave me a comment. Hit that thumbs up button right around somewhere. Um, and if you haven't done so by now, I would love for you to subscribe. For those who have, thank you so much. And um, don't forget to click the little bell icon so that you can be notified of future videos. All right. Thanks, everyone.